Here's the diagram I'm using to cut this gemstone. Alright, I've cut the first set of uh, pavilion facets and I've also done the girdle facets. And I've just finished with a 1200 lap. I went 260, 600, 1200. Now I'll, I'll use the 1200 to do the rest of the facets. Even though this is cubic zirconia and it has a hardness of 8.5, uh, it's considered to be brittle and uh, it cuts easier than quartz because quartz at a 7 Mohs gemstone, it's a very tough stone, but uh, this CZ cuts easier than quartz. Using the 1200 lap now to finish the rest of these facets. I've already cut the uh, girdle facets with the 1200. I've now cut every facet up to 3000 grit. I used a uh, pandemonium 3000 paste on a zinc lap. Got a little more touch up to do on the girdle facets. But it's looking good. The, the CZ is cutting pretty easy, no problems. So it should turn out to be a pretty good stone. Right? I'm pre-polishing the girdle facets now. Starting the pre-polishing now um, with the 8,000 lap. So I've gone from 3,000 to 8,000 and I've done the first set of facets. I finished the final polishing of the stone and I used a uh, tin lap with 50,000 diamond compound. Here I've made the dot transfer. I used epoxy glue. So I'll leave that to dry overnight. And tomorrow I'll start on the crown. I'm cutting the crown facets now.
using a 360 channel lap. cut the first set of facets with the 600 grit lap. I'm now pre-polishing with the zinc lap. I'm using 3000 diamond compound. Okay, I'm going to show you how I clean my tin lap before I put on the 50,000 diamond compound. I've got WD-40, clean paper towel, spin the lap, not too fast. see all that residue coming off of there. Pretty bad. I'll put some more on. Still coming off pretty good. Okay, I'm going to call that enough. I'm going to take my pandemonium 60,000 polycrystalline diamond. That's all you need. A couple of drops of WD-40. Rub that in. Spread it out. Get a little bit on my finger and get that cleaned up. And we're ready to start polishing. I'm now going to cut the crown. So I eliminated the very last uh, row of facets, the tier of facets, the very last set right near the table. I cut through those and uh, I have a, a little bit larger table now than what it would have had. So this is what I wanted to do. I didn't, this uh, stone is so brilliant. A larger table is not going to hurt the uh, brilliance of it at all. So I, all I've got left to do is do the final polishing. 
on the table. It's been pre-polished to 8,000 grit level. I'm almost finished with this gemstone. And I'll, I'll take a second to talk about this 45 degree table adapter that Ultratech now has with these newer models. Uh, this act actually slips over the spindle and tightens down with these two Allen screws here. And uh, it makes for a much more rigid uh, assembly like it is. So I, I, I like this setup. Finally finished this gemstone. So I'll heat it up and remove it from the dop stick. Got it soaking in some acetone. It should be ready to come out of there. 